concomitant strictures of the bile duct and also pancreatic duct. It is called double duct sign. Is typically a feature of pancreatic carcinoma is what you need to remember. You can see both there is a dilatation of pancreatic duct and also the bile duct together. Unless there is a tumor at the point of drainage of these ducts. Where will they drain into? Ample of water in the duodenum. And what? which part of the pancreas will be there needed to that? Head of the pancreas will be there. And any tumor of that will lead to obstruction of both the ducts leading to both the ductal dilatation which is called the double duct sign is what you need to remember. Radiologically is what need to be remembered. Sun burst calcification on plain x-rays. In which pancreatic tumor do you find? Typically, this is the typical pattern, doctor, uh, of that uh, fibrous reaction which occur into serous cystadenoma. So, when you look radiologically, it is called Swiss cheese pattern, Swiss, like a perforated cheese, it is called Swiss cheese pattern. So, uh, and uh, sun ray like calcification is what you typically come across. So, the tumor, head of the tumor, uh, pancreas tumor, you see the sun ray type of a calcification. String of beads like an appearance, where you have alternating constriction, dilatation, constriction, dilatation, like a, a sadhu sannyasi ke string of beads will be there with which he will be doing japamala appearance. Where do you get? In case of fibromuscular dysplasia. Fibromuscular dysplasia. What is the most common cause of the renal artery stenosis in a young individual doctor? Fibromuscular dysplasia. What is the cause of renal artery stenosis in an elderly individual above 60? Atherosclerosis is what need to be remembered. Now doctor, calcinosis universalis. In lot of soft tissues, there is a development of calcinosis. Yes? So, uh, where do you see? This is a classical appearance, scleroderma. Scleroderma, there is a calcification of fingertips along with terminal pharyngeal erosion. The combination is what you are seeing in scleroderma. Multiple, multiple calcific foci of the lung, where do you see? Whenever there is any varicella pneumonia, chicken pox is causing pneumonia, then if you look at the close cut section, you can see the presence of multiple calcification into the pneumonic uh, consolidation in the lung. Now doctor, hilar lymph node consolidation, where do you see doctor, the list of actual calcification you must know, hilar nodes may. Sarcoidosis, silicosis, histoplasma, tuberculosis, cocidomycosis, etc, etc, yes what you need to remember. Hirsutism, you find in all the scenarios, but not in case of, but not in case of, what is your answer? Absolutely, hypothyroidism is what need to be remembered. Hypokalemia is a feature of all this, but not Edison. If you are having Cushing, what will happen? Cushing may, there is increased steroids, glucocorticoids, which also have mineralocorticoid activity. What is the action of mineralocorticoid? Retention of sodium, loss of potassium into urine. Because of the loss of potassium into urine, you develop hypokalemia. If there is a hypercortisolism, not hypocortisolism. So, that is the reason it is. Edison is what you need to basically remember. It is a common question in OPD. Your patient is a professor of English. He will ask you a question. Doctor, am I overweight or underweight or normal weight? Tell me. If you are not sure how to calculate BMI, still no problem. Nowadays, we are all practicing with Google before us. Radiologists are all practicing with the Google, WhatsApp. If they don't know what is there in the image, they can send to that network of other radiologists connected. Right? Except a surgery, everything else is nowadays online. Patients advice you can do online. You can't deliver baby on Google. Unless you have a Google enabled robotics which are now coming up shortly, right? So, um, accept that. So, underweight less than 0.18.5, normal 18.5 to 24.99, and overweight is more than 25 and obese is more than 30. Still there is something called pre-obese. 
so that your patient will not be offended. If he is having 29.9, then you can tell, no, 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 who said you are obese, sir? No, 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 you are just pre-obese. Any moment you can become obese. So that's the reason, doctor, the art of convincing your patient to adopt a good lifestyle is all the art of practicing general medicine. You should not uh, hurt the feelings of your patient. So diabetes is there. Oh, you have diabetes, you can't say. You can say glucose intolerance, you are a little sweeter, etc., etc. Ultimately, until he accepts that he is diabetic. Patient should accept he is diabetic. So that art is all what you have to learn in the three years of MD. MD is nothing. Art of talking to patients and picking up few skills. That's the only thing. Ultimately, those skills will help you throughout your life in the clinical practice. You only have knowledge, no art. Patients will not be happy with you. Let me tell you, doctor. The vitamin, and if you only have art without knowledge, that's also bad. But that doesn't happen. Because ultimately for entrance, we read so much crap. We don't want also, we get some knowledge ultimately. So, huh? the vitamin which is shown to prevent neural tube defect, kya hota hai? Folic acid. Folic acid. Zinc deficiency mein nahi hota cardiomyopathy. Selenium deficiency mein jaha Keshan's cardiomyopathy is what you have. Severe hypothermia kitte temperature wala hai? Kali hypothermia kitte temperature to kaam nahi chalega. So, you must know doctor, the various gradations, mild, moderate, severe, when do you call? In the case of the hypothermia. Death and dry drowning is because of the laryngospasm. Without anything entering into the mouth, if you jump into cold water, sudden vas vagal spasm can lead to development of death is what need to be remembered. What are the contraindications for treadmill? Kisi ko ST sequent elevation or acute MI hai, usko treadmill ke upar kinshte kya? Nai kinshna. Kisi ko pre-infarction angina hai, unstable angina is called pre-infarction angina. Don't drag him into treadmill. So, you must know contraindications, whom to do, whom to not do, the treadmill you have to be 100% sure. Aspirin, aspirin has got a paradoxic effect of precipitating the heart failure because aspirin is an NSI which inhibits the prostaglandin production. Prostaglandins are important for maintaining afferent arteriolar dilatation to the kidney and renal plasma flow. And any blockade at that level will lead to development of precipitation of CHF is what need to be remembered. So, aspirin, etanol, steroids, any of them are known to precipitate the CHF is what I want to underscore to all of you. Sudden cardiac death kiske hoja se hota hai most commonly. If you say most commonly it would become MI, myocardial infarction. That's the reason they changed the present protocol of basic life support. Instead of airway breathing circulation, they said first to take care of circulation. Because patients before you do mouth to mouth breathing and airway, they are dying due to fibrillation. So, first to restore circulation, heart ke, arrhythmias ko control karo pehla, baad mein airway and breathing. That's a change in the protocol. Ventricular tachycardia versus supraventricular tachycardia, how do you basically differentiate is a favorite question of the examiner doctor. <clears throat> this session is too short to discuss all the ECG features. Um, we have already done it in our uh, cardiology available in the anatomy to medicine.com. But for brevity, let me tell you, there is one Brugada's algorithm which says whether it is VT or SVT. Generally, what is the rule? VT means broad complex QRS, SVT means supraventricular is narrow complex QRS. But the SVT can have aberrant conduction. Supraventricular tachycardia hai, atrial fibrillation hai, right? If it has got an aberrant conduction through an abnormal pathway, which is going to the ventricles, then what will happen? Then also you can get a wide complex QRS. So, there is a reason whether it is a SVT with aberrant conduction or whether it is a VT. 
to differentiate you must know the criteria so you have a suppose if there is any av dissociation that favors vt if vt is there av dissociation that means a atrial contraction is identified by p waves ventricular contraction is identified by qrs complex p and qrs are suppose it is have some synchrony p ke baad qrs ana p apne aap aa rahe qrs apne aap dikhai de rahe qrs is not preceded by p and p is not followed by qrs then you call av dissociation so presence of av dissociation is indicative that it is a ventricular tachycardia presence of capture bits two qrs will combine with each other to form fusion beat capture beat etc similarly if there is any negative or a positive concordance and tachycardia qrs more narrow than the sinus qrs so there are some differentiating factors i leave the literature for you as to what are the verkel's algorithm etc etc um, if we if we start discussing this we will end up the entire evening in this only so i don't want but i leave the literature for you please uh, review that one question one question but let me tell you if you answered svt vt based question correctly in exam 70% students ko competition ko piche hata ke aap aage badh rahe there are some topics in the entire 1132 topic list agar wo aap padhe to आप पूरे कंपटीशन को पीछे हटा के आप आगे बढ़ रहे टेक इट एस माई बर्ड एंड वॉट इज द कॉन्वर्स स्टेटमेंट इफ यू डिंट रीड द दो टॉपिक्स 70 परसेंट कॉम्पिटिशन आपसे आगे बढ़कर जा रहे आप ताजुब होके उनको देख रहे हैं तो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो डोंट लेट बिकम ए स्म्यूट स्पेक्टेटर ऑफ कॉम्पिटिटर्स क्रशिंग यू अंडर देयर फीट एंड गोइंग फॉरवर्ड लाइक ए स्पॉट वार सो what is the main value of vq rather the question must be reframed what is the main useless value of vq nowadays with ct angiography ventilation perfusion d dimer they don't really stand much of a place in pulmonary embolism proximal central bronchiectasis wo word dekhte hi aapka answer kya ho jayega a b p a allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis is what examiner is expecting from you then tb in hiv positive patients how is it different the smear rate positivity rate will be lesser if it is happening in a hiv positive individual chronic renal failure what is the most common cause in india diabetes diabetes ka most common cause in india eating rice eating rice ka most common cause in india marriage so ultimately after marriage why men and women bloat because breakfast lunch dinner and midnight also toxic doses of the love of the spouse will make you eat 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 and eat because if you don't eat you will talk and we don't like to listen your talk so better we feed you so that you are <laughs> not talking and the lighter wind for you to remember hmm? now microvascular <coughs> microvascular disorders associated with acute renal failure what are they malignant hypertension thrombe thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura hus they are all called microangiopathic hemolysis is what need to be remembered glucose intolerance is a feature of which condition Cushing's may you will have glucose intolerance, not in case of Edison. Typically, if there is any hyperthyroidism and lactating mother is there, propylthiazole is the best bet. ITP may what is the role? Typically, there is no such uh, um, thing like uh, females are predominantly affected in children. Blah blah blah. Hmm? Remaining things are all true. Now, doctor. what are the various coincidental agents this question can come straight in the next exam <coughs> so chlorhexidine 0.5% cetrimidine 20% hypertonic saline all of them are considered most common fungal infection hiv infected child typically would be a oral candidiasis is most common then 
hypervitaminosis A is known to lead to rise of intracranial tension and development of pseudotumor cerebri. Outdated tetracyclines, OCPs, hypervitaminosis A, causes of pseudotumor cerebri. Cystic fibrosis, may you may know it is chromosome 7, but if you don't know, longer, short also, your arm is cut. So, this kind of questions basically. If you read at least once, you will answer. Magar exam hall mein bite ke guess ma reto, you will 100% guess the wrong one. On that day's astrological stars will decide your ultimate outcome. So, that is the reason known unknowns are better than unknown unknowns. You must know whether this question belongs to which group. Unknown unknown are a known known are a known unknown. Eh? That uh, brevity of discretion you need to develop over a period of time as you keep solving mock tests. Pulmonary sequestration, where does the blood supply come from? Basically, this is how a lung sequestration basically looks like. There are two kinds, intralobar, extralobar sequestration. Once more, differences between the two is a favorite topic of examiner. So, whenever there is a sequestered lung, it also requires blood supply. So, it basically comes from iota, is what need to be basically understood. <coughs> right. Then, respiratory tract may laryngomalacia with the loss of elasticity of the uh, cartilages is a common, most common and self-limiting entity. Delayed eruption is considered to be abnormal. Even if the eruption does not occur beyond how many months? Generally, it is one and a half years, 18 months. Beyond that, if the eruption does not occur, it is true delayed eruption. Ride a tricycle, copy a circle, knows the age and sex. By what age is a very, very important question. <coughs> so, uh, the one question on developmental milestones, 3 years, 4 years, 5 years, mainly motor language skills, you must be 100 percent sure. Intervascular device, what is the infection which is commonly associated? Sagar asked a very reasonable question. Sir, aspirin to hum, prophylactically we will use uh, in the patients uh, as a post, I mean as a secondary prophylaxis in MI. Secondary prophylaxis in MI. MI ek bar aagaya unko. Then ghar jate vakat, what are the three things you will not forget to add? One beta blocker, one acid inhibitor and one aspirin. But in a subset of population, aspirin is uh, being a prostaglandin inhibitor affects the renal circulation and can lead to development of precipitation of CHF is what uh, they have found in lot of studies. Still we give aspirin. Eh? So, that is the point. So, doctor, it is the coagulase negative staphylococci which are the normal commensals of the skin are the most common organisms which are being found. We use the normal saline as the diluent. For you to give second dose of the DPT or DPT vaccination at all, any progressive neurological disorder is a contraindication, not a non-progressive static neurological disorder like cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is called static neurological disorder, not progressive in nature. So, uncomplicated cerebral palsy, they can very much receive the DPT. Mucosa is never involved in which situation? Typically in dermatitis, herpetiformis, this kind of excoriating lesions on the uh, exposed surfaces of the body, extensive surfaces of the arms is what you come across. Intensely pruritic papulovesicular skin disease is what need to be remembered. So, what is a papule, a very, very fundamental language of dermatology, you have to be sure, doctor. So, macule is flat, then patch is larger but flat more than 2 centimeters and flat you call patch. Papule is small solid lesion less than 1 centimeter in diameter like your comedones is what you have to basically remember. Similarly, plock is larger more than 1 centimeter. I leave the literature for you. Now, coming to the malignant melanoma, what is except about uh, 
a b c d of it so a b c d rule asymmetry b is border c is color d for diameter as all of you know so that's the reason symmetry nahi hota asymmetry hoga then doctor pruritis is an important feature in both scenario whenever there is any myeloproliferative disorder where not only rbc's wbc's basophils whenever they increase in number basophils release histamine and histamine lead to pruritis aquagenic pruritis it is called so typically in polycythemia rubrovira or hemolytic anemias hemolytic anemias will lead to hyperuricemia uric acid excess and that also predisposes to pruritus but not in multiple myeloma is what you have to basically remember so pruritus where do you find is important sorry asses doctor i will give you three questions which are going to definitely come in the tomorrow's exam so classical lesions of the psoriasis treatment of choice for psoriasis if that is a question what is your answer fuva therapy psoriasis mein arthropathy hai what is the treatment of choice that become methotrexate and uh, whenever psoriasis happen in some scenarios like hiv pustular psoriasis psoriatic erythroderma in all the scenarios retinoids are the drug of choice and uh, in pregnancy what is the safest drug for pustular psoriasis that would be prednisolone is what need to be remembered and what are the four drugs you will not forget which can precipitate and worsen the psoriatic flare up lithium nsaids beta blockers antimalarials this say most repeatedly asked mcq on psoriasis dermatology ekdam padhne ka time nahi mila assume January, the forthcoming 25th wedding season shuru ho gaya. Your friends' weddings are all uh, lined up, uh, and some uh, entrance exams are also lined up every Sunday, more or less. NIMS exam, uh, etc. You, know, you did not get time to read. Still, what are the six topics you will re just read just for me? What will you read? So, reasons two types: bullous pemphigus, pemphigus vulgaris. Lichen planus definitely will come. One on acne, one on alopecia. Bus. Read and go to the exam. Five may three questions you will definitely answer. Take it as my word. Psychiatry also. Kuch bhi time nahi mila. Khali schizophrenia padho. Schizophrenia, autism and disintegrative childhood disorders. Definitely ask the question. Lithium ke baare mein pura sab kuch padke jao. So at least five five topics you go in three will come. So I gave you I think some thirty topics or so. Don't read all thirty in high yield topic list. Top ten if you read also more than enough. Now doctor, thromboelastograph basically will be looking for the fibrinolysis, hemolysis, hypercoagulability, etc. etc. laryngeal mask airway who discovered it is not in your hands right it was invented by dr archie bain not brain bain in the early 1980s he still alive huh so at least in honor of him you need to remember now doctor what drugs cross the placenta pethidine midazolam thypentone but not vecuronium doesn't cross oh which maple sun this time thoda variety de diya aapko regularly pura description de ke which maple sun we are asking no so this is uh, maple sun c you should look for where is amber bag where is the air flow where is the mouth based on the three you have to decide right doctor you see bag air flow mouth where are they located so based on that if you look at maple sun c you have the bag right and the air flow gas flow and then comes the mouth and suppose uh, you take maple sun e what is the speciality it is the only one that does not have the bag right that is another way to recognize if a picture based question is given in the exam okay 
now doctor if there is a narrow airway laryngeal stenosis you use this tube and what is this tube called it's called cole's tube is what need to be basically remembered excessive talkativeness like our mock test discussions flight of ideas which come while setting up the question paper for you so two times i need to be maniac setting paper and also discussing paper huh? so but uh, you are you should not land in the other end of the bipolar spectrum other end of mania is depression after writing the paper composed by a maniac teacher you should not fall into depression huh? so that is basically a important criteria to call it as mania is what need to be remembered it's worth to be maniac during your pg preparation rather than the other end of the spectrum let me tell you right then what is suggestive of schizophrenia nihilistic delusions are a sign of depression suicide but not schizophrenia but paranoid delusions passivity phenomena delusional perception made feelings made impulses made act somatic passivity etc there are all the first rank symptoms in schizophrenia which you have to basically remember then what is the, there are two things about auditory hallucination three things most common hallucination hota hai schizophrenia mein auditory and auditory how is this the best example of auditory what did you see in this he is watching there is nobody but he sees other person in the mirror that is he will be talking to him that is it's a movie sir he is talking to him god comes and talks to him eh? only he can see the god others because others are all sinners only he is the one who didn't sin hence he got schizophrenia right so most common hota hai auditory first symptom if you started treatment chale jane wale symptom hota hai auditory and other drug resistance develop ho gaya first to reappear is also auditory hallucination in schizophrenia is what you need to basically remember talk due dyskinesias there are the important side effects which you see in case of typical not atypical like clozapine is what you have to basically remember then ah <clears throat> uh, uh, what are the other things of clozapine don't forget favorite question of examiner most serious is agranulocytosis it can induce seizures weight gain not weight loss constipation hypotension hypersalivation there are all the other features of clozapine clozapine adverse effects amiodarone adverse effects digoxin lithium adverse effects and tricyclic antidepressants five important drugs and their complete monogram about them you must be reading before exam tricyclic antidepressant hota hai anticholinergic that's the reason you what you find is constipation not diarrhea whenever there is any tricyclic antidepressant then doctor which hormone inhibits the pancreatic secretions there is a pancreatic polypeptide whose function is to inhibit gallbladder activity and inhibit the pancreatic secretions this is a this is a question anywhere you go you have a question on achalasia and that will be only this question what is that if dysphagia is there for both the solids and liquids and liquids it is more than the solids then you will think of a neuromuscular dysfunction like achalasia is what need to be basically remembered recurrent abdominal pain is a feature of intermittent porphyria hypercalcemia even edison's patients also sometimes they will be operated by a laparoscopic surgeon thinking that he is having any abdominal emergency but in truth they are what they are having is edison's then in cirrhosis of liver what are the ways to relieve resistant ascites if you take the leven shunt large volume paracentesis or tips their main role is to basically to relieve ascites post systemic shunt surgery is generally done in order to relieve any uh, esophageal 
variceal bleeding if it is becoming a major issue then you will basically do that is what need to be remembered <coughs> abraham is asking a very good question abiram in addition there is a hyperkalemia na wo to hai मगर हाइपरकेलीमिया में एब्डोमिनल पेन नहीं होगा एडिसन में होगा हाइपरकेलीमिया हो या ना हो दस पॉइंट गुड हाँ समटाइम्स वेन वी रीड टू मेनी थिंग्स वन विल बी इंटरप्टिंग द अदर फ्रॉम कमिंग टू दी प्रॉपर रीजनिंग बट यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट देर इज नो रीजनिंग इन्वॉल्व इन एंट्रेंस एग्जाम द अदर डे आई वॉज watching that uh, gladiator movie in the flight suddenly i felt uh, our exams are also like gladiator you won't look front you won't look back what you will be doing is only wielding the sword how many heads tumble down for that underneath that sword that's the only thing will a warrior will use his brain and do fighting no doctor warriors won't do that right so entrance also no emotion no intelligence no analysis nothing what is required sheer answering common sense is the only thing that is uh, required in abundance which you need to carry to the exam hall now doctor what is the indication for screening for thrombophilia typically if the venous thrombosis is occurring less than 40 years somebody develop a dvt then you need to basically evaluate is what you need to basically remember <coughs> plasma ferritin is reduced in all the scenarios but not in which situation typically the ferritin is released from the damaged liver cells the reason when there is any liver disease that lead to increased ferritin but not decreased ferritin don't use another reasoning maybe ferritin is produced in the liver and hence liver disease must call a fall of ferritin no ओ काम में काम चलेगा नहीं ऐसा सोचे तो दैट्स अ पॉइंट व्हिच मस्कुलोस्केलेटल डिसऑर्डर इज मोर कॉमन इन मेल्स क्लासिकली देयर आर सम डिसऑर्डर्स व्हिच आर मोर कॉमन इन मेल्स एंड फीमेल्स डॉक्टर गाउट एंड स्पॉन्डिलो आर्थ्रोपैथिस एंकलाइजिंग स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस रीटर्स एटसेट्रा दे आर मोर कॉमन इन मेन एस्सली रिब्रेड आर्थ्रोपैथिस फाइब्रो fibromyalgia osteoporosis they are all feminine disorders is what you need to remember alkaline phosphatase is elevated in case of pagets what is the speciality what is the difference between multiple myeloma and pagets multiple myeloma hota hai hypercalcemia with a normal alkaline phosphatase pagets mein hota hai normal calcemia with a high alkaline phosphatase the converse of it is what you have to basically remember when will you do imaging of the brain in a case of epilepsy in addition to eeg when will you ask the patient to undergo imaging all adults should have neuro imaging after their first seizure that is the rule of the game all adults right doctor this reason neurologists marry radiologists so that uh, uh, together they can earn a lot right then that's what neurological society has asked them to huh? then uh, urgent neuro imaging midnight unko utha ke brain ka imaging if there are seizures when will you ask more than 40 years hiv positive individual anybody on anticoagulation fever malignancy partial seizures acute head trauma in all these scenarios urgent neuro imaging after the seizure is required deferred op based neuro imaging unko requisition slip fill up karke de dete jaake kal imaging karke aao bolke tab kab if the patient is stable and uh, the other urgent indications are not met then children may what are the indications for doing neuro imaging all patients under the age of 1 year if they develop seizures you should be careful to basically check because febrile seizures like things don't occur under the age 1 no myelination of the brain significant enough to lead to febrile seizures are unlikely diagnosis i mean less likely diagnosis for you to just ignore 
no need for neuroimaging. So, under 1, generally indicated. Then, similarly, malignancy, head trauma, partial seizures, whenever partial seizure is there, there is a focus like a medial temporal lobe sclerosis or something, is it there, bolke chakkar ne ke liye, or any infection is causing the seizures, if there is a focal seizure, you have to evaluate. Parkinson's disease, developing more than 70 years of age individual. Yeah. <clears throat> what is the difference between that compared to a younger individual? If it develops more than 70 years, prognosis is bad. Dementia is more common if Parkinson's comes after 70. And autonomic disturbances are also more common. What is that syndrome called? Scheidrager syndrome, Parkinsonism plus autonomic dysfunction. Now, doctor, what substances does not bind to the activated charcoal? <clears throat> this forthcoming Sunday, we will have a test but no discussion because I will be there in Vijayawada to deliver a lecture to the Vijayawada students. So, I could not be able to take up a session over here. So, question paper explanation will be given only this Sunday. I will try to not miss the remaining Sundays and Wednesdays. Um, yeah. So, but uh, Saturday, Sunday evening 4 to 8, you have uh, Dr. Rajaratnam Tangavail's class. Eh? So, please do come. <clears throat>